The father of a woman shot and killed with her wife in the mountains right outside of Moab is reacting to new information from investigators. But now, more than five months later after their deaths, Fox 13's Brian Schnee reports family members still have many unanswered questions. On an investigative side, it was nice to see that much of the information that they release is is compatible with what we have known for quite some time now. New information from the Grand County Sheriff's Office was shared with the public for the very first time last week regarding the double homicide of Kylan Schulte and Crystal Turner, including that GCSO had a list of persons of interest, but no suspect at this time. My competent law enforcement, yeah, I don't think they're going to call me today, but that's only because I've been holding my breath for six months. It's been nearly six months of difficult and emotional work for Kylan's father, Sean Paul Schulte, who had taken on an active role in the community of Moab, trying to create his own list of persons of interest. Do I want to let my breath out? Hell yeah. Do I want to go in there and, and, and give everyone in that sheriff's office a big hug and take them all out to dinner? Hell yeah, I want to. But I'm still holding my breath over here. The sheriff's office believes the two women were killed on August 14th of last year making it five months and roughly 10 days since. Each update on the case gives family members hope that new clues will come in. Someone might have that little tidbit that makes the break in the case and they still haven't heard about the double homicide in Moab in August 2021. But to Sean Paul, most of the information shared recently wasn't new. I mean, we already knew Brian Laundrie wasn't our culprit. However, the latest update does send a reminder that the case is not cold. Until I get the call that says, hey, Sean Paul, uh, we have a match of uh, fingerprints. We have a match of DNA. We have a match of ballistics. We have cell phone pings uh, and, and no alibi. Well, now I'll start to say, OK, maybe it's time for me to start to believe that, that we're going to wrap this up. The Grand County Sheriff's Office is asking for more information on this case, but they're also encouraging people to be careful about spreading rumors and misinformation on social media. It's something that's been happening for months. Brian Cheney, Fox 13 News, Utah.